Hey guys, this is Mike from Spotter Tactical Solutions. Today I want to talk to you about the Ultima Maritime Assault boot. Now I say boot, but you can also get it as a shoe. Uh, this is a pretty cool looking boot. Now it's been on the market for a minute, but uh, they've been sold out for a while and they just got back. Um, these retail for around $90. I've seen them as low as $75, upwards to about $85. So again, check your online sources and see what you can get uh, this boot for. Uh, there are a lot of features on this. This is not the typical shoe that you saw growing up, like the Chuck Taylors for playing basketball. This is a functional shoe in a lot of different ways. And let's go ahead and look at some of the features. First off, you're going to notice um, these reinforced eyelets, and they're made out of metal. So it's, it's uh, you know, put into the fabric real well. It's not going to rip out on you, and that's pretty cool. The other thing is it's got this textured shoelace, so it's not going to fray very easily. And also, the manufacturer states, they've made it, and I haven't tried that yet, but I'd like to, is uh, it's got low profile, so you can go ahead and wear it with fins, and it's not going to irritate the top of your foot. So the other thing is, this comes in three colors. It comes in black, it comes in tan, and it also comes in the multicam. Now, whether they're going to release other colors, I don't know, but those are the three colors that they're available, and this is for the boot, which is $90. The other thing you'll notice about this is the uh, air mesh lining. It's wicking, uh, whereas you've got a simple collar on a Chuck Taylor. This has actually got uh, some type of air mesh fabric. It's, it's kind of plush. It's going to feel pretty good on your ankle as it uh, grips your ankle. And uh, the tongue as well is padded, so you can go ahead and wear that uh, depending on um, you know what kind of sock you have. I, I recommend well Let's go ahead and state that right now. I recommend that you go a size up So if you're a 10 for example, you want to go with an 11 if you're nearest the half size um, Because uh, wearing something like a uh, athletic uh, Running sock is not going to work with this. I recommend just going ahead and going with maybe a more plush sock uh, If you're going to go ahead and wear this shoe you want it for comfort and that's also tied into using the insert So you may want to take that insert out and put something a little more um, comforting in there. Uh, so there's a combination of factors going to give you a good ride on this uh, boot. So we'll go ahead and talk about that later. So again, we talked about the uh, the, uh, the colors, we talked about the uh, eyelets, we talked about the uh, air mesh. Let's go ahead and talk about the, uh, the fabric itself. So this is a quick drying uh, Cordura fabric. Uh, you can see the quarter panels here that stitch it on the heel um, right up along the flanks here. It's going to be stitched real well, uh, industrial stitching so it doesn't tear on you. And you can go ahead and wear it out whether you're on the uh, on the beach, uh, in in the sand somewhere, or uh, on some other type of terrain. Now the other thing about this is it's got a uh, full length ABS shank, and a shank essentially takes a lot of the uh, the beating that you get when you're you're you're, you're walking. It's going to take off the uh, stress from your ankles and your calves uh, and your feet as you're you're plodding along on the terrain. So it's going to run full length. It's usually some type of metal, plastic. Uh, or fiberglass. Uh, you'll see it in, in boots and shoes, running shoes a lot of times will have plastic shanks. So that's going to give you, um, you know, basically uh, a supportive, um, stable um, uh, platform that you can go ahead and walk or run in. Now I have not run in these. I got these about a day ago. I'd like to go ahead and try these out. I'm going to go ahead and take these out for a run and I'm definitely going to go ahead and swim in these and see how they wear. So again, you've got that full length uh, ABS shank. Um, so let's go ahead and look at the, the, uh, the insole itself. Now, we talked about the socks. This has got a contoured insole. I was actually kind of surprised when I saw it. So you got this, this heel cup that the manufacturer has, uh, uh, you know, manufactured. And so it's going to go ahead and wrap right around your, your heel, which is cool. Uh, if, if you don't like this, and this is soft, by the way, real soft, you can go ahead and replace this and you can put some type of other insert in it. But again, depending upon the, the size of the boot that you get, the kind of uh, insert that you put in there, um, it's gonna change you know, what kind of sock you're gonna wear. Now, you might want a running sock. You may not wear this all day, but if you intend to wear this all day, perhaps you wanna go with a thicker sock, especially, let's say, um, maybe in the fall where it's a little cooler, uh, maybe not in the summer, so just something to consider. Uh, the other thing about this is it's got these uh, drain uh, posts right here, and I can't get the camera in there to show you, but you can see this drain post right here. The water's going to drain just right out of the, the side of the boot. So you've got a lot of cool things about this here. The other thing is they've got um, the seal rubber. So this is um, something that they um, have put these lugs on. You got these multi-directional lugs here that help you um, 
prevent you from rolling one way or the other uh, and again from sliding now this is basically um, what they call seal rubber it was used initially for rock climbing and it's going to give you high traction so again you can use this on street you can use this on the dirt now this is not going to be like the innovate rock lights or some type of uh, shoe like the lalos for example where it's got um, you know a more aggressive lug pattern uh, and it's got a, a, a certain type of outsole however these are pretty cool and i'd say you can wear them um, you know just about all day without any issues um, I've been wearing them all day. Uh, I'd like to put a 30-day te stress test on it and see how they turn out. But again, I've been pretty impressed with it. You've got this um, toe cap right here. It's a nice, generous, fat toe cap. Uh, runs the, the full length uh, of, of, of the shoe. It looks pretty cool, um, but it's also, you know, a rubber, and it's going to be um, give you some prevention from hitting rocks or some type of other object that's going to, you know, step your feet and hurt. So, um, you know. I haven't put these in water yet, but I think these these are going to hold up pretty well. Um, oh, last feature here is you've got these little hoops, and this is going to help you put it on on your on your foot. So I've been pretty impressed with this. Um, this is not a long video. This is not a very in-depth video, but again, I think uh, you'll you're going to like this boot. Give it a try yourself. Um, we're going to post this up on YouTube, and you can tell us your own thoughts. We'll post it up on our Facebook page, and you can say, hey, yay or nay, you thought they sucked or you thought you liked them a lot. Either way, they are cool looking. They're a conversation starter. But again, you can wear them with your, your uniform, and uh, this is something that I'm going to say, hey, I got my 90 bucks worth. Uh, I think it's a good deal. All right, take care. Thanks for watching.